I can't believe I'm standing here in Hawaii and it brings back just so many memories. When Missy was two and a half, she was swimming really well. We went to Maui. She saw a beautiful fish go by. She's gone. And all I could see is the little fins going off into the horizon somewhere. I knew she was going to be a swimmer. We had no idea that things were going to play out as they did, mind you. I'm Missy Franklin. I'm 20 years old. My favorite color is pink, and I'm a swimmer. <laughs> Being in Hawaii is just such a good opportunity to have a training trip and to really put some work in. And then Hawaii has a lot of meaning for me because my parents and I, that was kind of like our vacation spot. It's snowy and cold in Denver, so it's really nice to be here. For us, it was a great excuse just to come, relax, have fun. <laughs> the fact that my parents are able to be here with me on this trip, like, it's just so special because we've been here at so many different points in our life and to now be here for a training trip. It's like I never would have ever imagined that that was gonna be something we'd be doing here. I knew when Missy was six months old that she was gonna love the water. So I took her to a uh, mother and baby class. Go underwater, keeping your eyes open, and back up. When the other babies came up, they were all screaming, and Missy had a huge grin on her face and literally was trying to get back down under the water. And I thought, I gotta make sure this kid learns how to swim. I think you need the people that have seen you as the little girl, that have seen you as the adolescent girl that I've seen you as the grown woman because I think you need to learn and take things from each of those stages in your life to get to the stage that you ultimately want to be at. And so for me, you know, there's times when I get so caught up in being a woman that I forget the little things that I loved when I was a little girl. And I have my parents there to remind me, like, hey, remember when we would do this and that was all it took to make you laugh and smile and dance, like, this is you. Like, that, that part of you never has to be lost. I'm getting in touch with my inner self. <laughs> <laughs> good day. You got a little sun on your face there. Oh, sure. It's going to be a tomato. I don't know. I don't think the swimmers swam enough. Nah. <laughs> oh, we have Missy's Hawaiian visit. <laughs> <laughs> I was warming up next to people like Michael Phelps and Natalie Coughlin. And to like look around you and be like, I'm surrounded by the best athletes of every sport in the whole world. It was a little intimidating. You literally witness people achieving their dreams or people's dreams being crushed. Finish. Yep. It's really hard not to let that get to me. We all have very unique ways of outputting our emotion. We have very unique ways of, of being emotional and expressing our emotions. And, and for me, that's one of the reasons why swimming has been such an escape for me my whole life. Coming to practice and being horrible mood, having a really bad day and getting in the water and, and taking my frustration out in practice. And so I think water has a way of taking those emotions and helping you express them in a way that's healthy. Take your mark. Help. Help. You just have this enhanced feeling of the water all over your body and you feel like you're just splicing, splitting right through the water. Feel like a champ now. All right. Generate that power. Ready, go. We're hanging in there. We're around like 12K for the day right now. We're feeling it. Ready, go. Come on, push it. 
Nice. Great shot there. Nice job. Shot. Everyone starts to great the day really good. Yeah. Like no matter who you are, you can always wake up and feel really motivated. Yeah. But if you really want to get to where you want to go, you yeah. can't only finish the day great, but you need to finish even better than you started. And so I think when you get to that point, that's when you really have to think about what you want. I never would have thought that swimming would have brought me the opportunities that it has. What we were particularly conscious about is not creating uh, unreasonable expectations or pressure on her. For my parents to trust me and to let me do what I knew was going to make me the happiest, like it just, it means the world to me. We had no other expectations. We were sitting there in complete joy going, our daughter's an Olympian. She's an Olympian. I don't think they would have cared that I got eight medals or zero. Like, they just saw me having a good time, and I think that's what made them the happiest. I know when I stand here and I watch her out there with her friends, it's just a, a deja vu. It sort of brought me back to the circle in 18 years. I feel like I was born to swim, like that's what I was meant to do. I'm gonna do my best. And if I do that, like my parents are gonna be proud of me and I'm gonna be proud of me. Like what could be better than that? Competing with a cow cap on, like representing something that meant so much to me, it was just incredible. I want to be able to hear my national anthem play. I want to know that I did everything I possibly could to be the best that I can be and to represent my country in the best way that I know how.